All right, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're going to just do a little a little read for you guys. See what's up. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes. Also to give you some clarity to your situation. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And rootsandrewards.com if you'd like to purchase a personal read. All right, I take Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo. Okay. Ooh. Okay, water signs. Um, you. Okay. Runner and addiction is here. I'm not really loving it. So there may be some codependency, obsessive thinking, uh, possessiveness, control issues. Um, there's a block and restraint. Okay, and then there's running away from intimacy, running away from a uh, connection, running away from intimacy, and listening to the ego. So it looks like you guys are sitting in some type of disappointment, despair. Um, you're cloaking away, uh, dealing with some shadow, shadow energy here. Let's see what's going on. Water signs. All right, so there's been some in and out energies, uh, younger fire sign, Leo Aries Sag. Uh, this person possibly just came in very hot for you uh, with their passion stick, hit it, lick it, and leave it energy. This person possibly is not really emotionally connected to you. King of Cups in reverse. You guys are up on your head. This person really got you. Got you addicted to the passion stick, possibly, or the warm apple pie. Um, but there's a disconnection as far as intimacy. And there is control issues. Somebody may be trying to control you with sexual lust energy. All right. Looks like you guys are walking away from um, if this person was juggling you or they really didn't know what they wanted from you or they were just like hot and cold all the time, you are walking away from the spilt milk. I feel like you're really wanting a love connection. You're wanting to feel a soul connection with someone. Um, cancer energy. You're wanting to work on a partnership that has a lot of love and concern. I feel like you're coming out. I keep seeing the devil card. So you could be messing with a Capricorn. I feel like you're coming out of this toxicity and this lust energy. Like you're wanting more intimacy, more emotions, and less sex, you know? Uh, so this person was really greedy and held back and they were unable to give you a uh, commitment. I feel like you guys are becoming wiser. You're setting boundaries and you're speaking really clearly to this person, letting them know that um, you're wanting them to commit. All right. Or you're wanting to go elsewhere to commit. So. Yeah, I feel like you're cutting off a uh, fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, or an air sign. No longer being at a crossroads with that person. So there was illusions. There was multiple options entangled in this relationship. There's a judgment call to allow the tower to crumble. So allowing this connection to crumble, whether it was committed, not committed, a hit it, lick it, leave it energy, whatever it was, you're, you're putting it down. And you're not defending it anymore. See, moon energy. You're coming out of the dark. You're coming out of the shadows. You're coming out of the illusions of like fantasy land or those rose-colored glasses. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're seeing it doesn't work. It doesn't work for you. You need somebody that comes in with victory, praises you, puts you above the crowd. Uh, you're maturing in your energy. Somebody, you know, going towards somebody that is mature. Um, they know their worth. Aries energy. So somebody was very egotistical. Pisces energy. So getting stuck, getting unstuck, possibly with an Aries energy that was very egotistical and narcissistic. Um, avoidant, fearful attachment style this person could have had. Yeah, moving away, moving away from it. Let's see. So there's, there's uh, somebody watching and stalking you here. 
It could be this person once you leave them behind. They see that you're wanting to invest somewhere else. So you could have been in a third party here. The bottom of the deck. Third party, getting rid of third party, getting rid of karmic partner and balancing and rowing away from conflict. So you may be just choosing your third party, the single lady, single man, the uh, independent woman, independent man. Could be an earth sign that you're looking to put effort towards. This person's single. So whoever you're going towards is a single entity. All right, let's see. Oh, page of cups, yeah. So bringing that cup of love to that person. You could be a younger, this could be a younger uh, earth sign or a younger water sign. Somebody's being left in a lot of mental conflict, like not knowing what the fuck happened. Like, like what? <laughs> what happened? So somebody did not see this coming. Um, it was like uh, sideswiped. So you may have recently gotten sideswiped or... It just came out of left field. You're just like, wait, what happened? So maybe this person did that to you. Like they turned, they just turned. This person, ju energy just turned, started becoming defensive, protective, uh, triggered, being held back, being greedy, pushing, you know, pushing the limits, pushing you away. And somebody just started getting up in their mental and kind of like sabotaged it yeah this person could have ghosted you cancer virgo energy um could have had you fighting and battling with people so other people may have came involved in this connection but somebody cloaked or somebody will be cloaking whether it's you or them yeah this person's going towards another lover here or that's you all right take it how it resonates Someone's not seeing this connection as a love connection. All right. Let's see who you could be dealing with. Uh, Jupiter, Sagittarius, 18. Uh, Sun card, Leo, 13. And Virgo, 6. Also Libra, 7. All right, let's see. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say? This is my Oracle deck. It's available on my website. It's love me, love me not. Uh, please forgive me. And I had to hide how I felt. So I feel like somebody has been hiding feelings in the background, possibly for somebody else. And they're just like, please forgive me. But they got to go. They got to go. I know I'm toxic. So somebody knows that they, they are avoidant or they fear the intimacy with people. And yeah, they're going towards somebody or you're going towards somebody that uh, you miss and I want you, baby. And I'm manifesting you. So someone's manifesting something else in their life. Listen, I'm not here to sugarcoat it. I just tell you what the cards, cards tell me. So don't shoot the messenger. All right, so after you release this person, yeah, karmic. There was a karmic relationship here. Triggering, fleeting, turmoil, resentment, lessons, and letting go and valuing you. So you're valuing yourself. Maybe you feel wounded, but you are going to start making healthier choices. Cupid's arrow is going to strike. Somebody comes in and lets you know, I like you, or this is what you're telling this person. I like you. I value you. I'm coming out of my wounds and uh yeah looking good all right sun card so you're gonna feel a lot better uh more happy more confident in your energy and more pleasure i feel like more pleasure is going to be coming in for you uh water signs that enlightenment feeling confident in your energy is really going to push you in the right direction i am live every thursday night 7 p.m eastern time if you'd like to uh, come and join come on over and uh, keep yourself in high regard i'm going to do an air sign read like this next bye guys